coming up next, I'm going to show you how to apply an Attar fragrance, the newest from Amelage, the Attar collection. I'm going to show you how to apply it and why the actual value is there in such a high price perfume. A lot of you are probably wondering, is it worth the high price? Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And I did a video recently introducing you to the new Attar collection from Amouage. And I think I introduced you to, I don't know, about five or six different fragrances. And today I have with me one of those, which is, I wanna make sure that I pronounce the name right because it's so small, Vanilla Barca, like Vanilla Bark, right? Where vanilla comes from. And this is the fragrance, that is the Attar. This is 10 milliliters, okay? 10 milliliters. This costs, these, this collection costs anywhere from 550 to $600. Yes, you heard me right. Now, before you turn off the video and say, Joel's gone crazy, why is he talking about something that is so expensive for such a small amount? And if you saw the video the other day, I talked about this. This is pure perfume oil. There's no alcohol, okay? So it's not even like an extrait. An extrait parfum is anywhere from say 30 to maybe 50%, but it's not that high. It's usually around 30, 35% perfume raw materials. And the other 65% roughly is alcohol still. This is 100% perfume oil. It's still the same constituent, meaning the different fragrance oils, so it's not just vanillas. That's the name of this, Vanilla Barca, but it's actually whatever materials they put in there to create this unbelievable vanilla, and it is very sexy, sensual, and edible, this particular vanilla. Now, that's one main thing. Another thing is when you put this on, since it doesn't have alcohol, alcohol is what is called a deliverance. That's what is, delivers the perfume normally through a sprayer or an atomizer. Because you don't have alcohol and you don't need that, you have pure, pure perfume oil. All you have here, let me show you guys, is a little dabber. Okay? So you have the dabber there, which is where you dab the skin lightly. Now. Another reason why, if you look at this for the actual value, this is a bottle that's going to last you years. And it can continue to, it's gonna to continue to macerate and get deeper and darker and richer and even more beautiful because there's no alcohol in there to essentially evaporate or to kind of adulterate the actual perfume oils. You will probably only need one or two drops per wearing when you're wearing an attar. And it's not just the homage, you know, Sergeoff has attars, a lot of different fragrance houses make attars. But again, this is just, I'm you know, using this one because it's new and I happen to really like it. But so that one or two drops, and what I recommend is putting one on the back, I, well, I say put it on the back of your hand, but obviously you don't wanna do that if you're gonna be washing your hands. But I would say put it on your wrists. Put one drop there, one drop there on the inside of your wrist, or you could actually do it on the neck. If you want to do it that way too, you could put it on either side of the neck. One drop here, one drop there, or one drop here, one drop there. And let me just kind of show you how to do it. All right, so you can see here, I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it really clearly there. All right, you take it out. And actually, in order to do this right, I'm going to, I'm going to see, you can see this there, all right? Now I'm going to put it right on my hand. So you go like this, and then boom. See that? I put it on my thumb, but I want you to see that. You can see it on my thumb there. See that juice. Now, I'm going to do something that you would normally never do. This is something you normally never do. What you can do is take your hand, this is a good way to kind of move it around a little bit, and actually, I'm gonna show you there, 
kind of rub it around a little bit. It's not hard. So you're not rubbing. We know not to rub perfume because you can actually kind of destroy the molecules. I'm not talking about rubbing hard like people do like this. I'm talking about just massaging it around a little bit like this. And then I can even go like this. Because I'm telling you, that one drop has just allowed me to go on the hand, which I would say again, do the wrist. I'm just showing this today because I'm a little bit, my hands are tied up. I would go right on there. I got right here. And then you can take that and you can even go like this now. I've got it in three different places. Three different places from that one little drop. And that's all you need. That's all you need. One drop just got me those three drops. And this is so intense. Oh. Let me tell you, oh, it's just like a, like the most pure vanilla extract food dream that you've ever smelled. And vanilla is one of the, by the way, it's one of the most liked fragrance notes in the world because, and this goes back to odor associative learning behavior, we like notes or smells that we learned and first learned about when we were really, really young because we usually associate it with something positive. So vanilla is, the smell of vanilla is in amniotic fluid. So as babies are basically being born, before they're being born, as they're growing in their mother's stomach, they're smelling vanilla-like substance. Also, when you come out, mother's milk has vanilla smell, and so does formula, right? Vanilla is a very common uh, flavor or whatever for formula. So because of that, ever since we're little, tiny little babies, even before we were born, Vanilla is a smell that we really like. So I got off into a little tangent, but I'm just smelling this. Oh, and when you, when you rub it around again, just really lightly, see how, how light I am? I'm doing that, you can see here. Okay, it's literally just barely rubbing. It's, it's really not rubbing as much as it is moving the oil around. Because the oil is like an oil slick. It's that rich, it's that viscous, like viscosity. You know, think of like a really rich motor oil. That's what this is like. This is not like regular perfume, which is more liquidy. This is pure viscous oil. And so when I did that, I've got it here now, here now, there now, three. So there you go. That's how you apply an attar. And that's why an attar, if you really look at it, is still a very good value because this is going to last you for years. And I mean years and years and years and you're getting something that's a true collector's item, something that a true fragrance uh, connoisseur would have in their collection if you really, really love specialized fragrances and you really love rich, just pure, 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 pure oil, perfume oil. So there you have it, a little description of attars and how they are applied and why they are actually a good value if you look at it and break it down on how long it's going to last you and how little you have to put on your skin. Thanks again for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.